Your throttle position sensor, or TPS, is one of the most overlooked sensors in your entire car. It controls how your engine responds to your right foot, yet most drivers don't know when it's failing or how to reset it. In this video, I'll show you 8 quick TPS tricks you can use right now, plus the key symptoms that tell you it's about to go bad. And you'll want to see the last one because it could save you from replacing your whole throttle body. Number 1. Performing a key on pedal reset. One of the fastest ways to recalibrate Calibrate your throttle position sensor is a simple pedal reset you can do without tools. To perform it, turn the ignition key to the on position without starting the engine. Slowly press the accelerator all the way down to the floor, then release it smoothly. Repeat this two or three times, then switch the ignition off and wait about 30 seconds. This allows the ECU to relearn the full range of pedal movement and match it to the TPS reading. If your throttle feels delayed, unresponsive, responsive or uneven, this reset can often sharpen response right away. Number 2. Fuse Pull Reset for the TPS If the pedal reset doesn't fully restore throttle response, you could go a step further with a fuse pull reset. Locate your car's fuse box, usually under the dashboard or in the engine bay, and find the fuse labeled ECU, PCM, or specifically TPS if marked. With the ignition off, remove the fuse for about 10 to 15 minutes, then reinstall it. What this does is clear stored throttle position data from the ECU's memory, forcing it to relearn fresh values from the TPS the next time you drive. This method is more targeted than disconnecting the entire battery and avoids losing other settings like your radio presets. For many cars, especially after throttle body cleaning or part replacement, this reset can immediately smooth out idle and acceleration. Number 3. Cleaning the throttle body to help the TPS Sometimes the TPS is itself is not the main problem, but carbon buildup on the throttle plate interferes with its readings. When the plate sticks or doesn't return smoothly, the TPS can send inconsistent signals to the ECU. A quick throttle body cleaning can restore proper movement and instantly improve sensor accuracy. To do this, remove the intake hose connected to the throttle body and spray throttle body cleaner onto a clean cloth or soft brush. Gently wipe away any carbon deposits around the throttle plate and its edges. Do not drench the TPS with cleaner, as excess liquid can harm it. After wiping it down, allow it to dry completely before resetting the ECU, so it can relearn proper throttle response. This simple trick can save you from replacing a TPS that's reading wrong only because of dirt. Number 4. Idle Relearn After resetting the TPS or cleaning the throttle body, you may notice the car idling rough or even stalling. That's because the ECU has lost its stored idle data and now needs to relearn it. A quick idle relearn procedure can solve this problem in minutes. Here's how. Start the car with all accessories off and let it idle undisturbed for 5 to 10 minutes. Then switch on the AC and let it idle for another 5 minutes. Finally, take the car for a short, gentle drive, varying the throttle slightly. This allows the ECU to adapt new TPS values and stabilize fuel trims. Skipping this relearn often leads drivers to think the the TPS is still bad, when in fact the ECU just hasn't adjusted yet. Number 5. Using a basic OBD2 scanner to reset TPS codes If your check engine light is on because of a TPS-related code, you don't always need a mechanic to clear it. A basic OBD2 scanner, which costs around $20 to $30, can read throttle position fault codes and reset them after you've cleaned or recalibrated the sensor. Simply plug the scanner into the port under your your dashboard, turn the ignition on, and read the stored codes. If you see codes like P0120, P0121, or P0123, those point to throttle position issues. After performing your TPS reset or cleaning, use the scanner to clear the code. If the problem is fixed, the light stays off. If it comes back, that's a clear sign the sensor itself may be failing. This is a quick, affordable trick that puts diagnostic power in your hands without paying shop rates. Number 6. Recalibrating the TPS after battery disconnect Anytime you disconnect the battery for maintenance or repair, your throttle position sensor can lose its stored calibration. This often leads to poor throttle response or inconsistent acceleration when you 
start driving again. A quick recalibration procedure can restore normal function without replacing anything. To do this, reconnect the battery and turn the ignition key to the on position for a few seconds without starting the car. Slowly press the accelerator pedal all the way down and release it, then turn the key off. Repeat this sequence two or three times before starting the engine. This helps the ECU relearn the correct closed and wide open throttle positions from the TPS. Doing this right after a battery reset ensures the ECU and TPS are in sync, so you avoid those annoying flat spots in throttle response. Number 7. Adjusting TPS Mounting Position On some older vehicles, the throttle position sensor is not sealed, but mounted with small screws that allow slight adjustment. If the voltage reading is off at idle, loosening the screws and rotating the sensor slightly can bring it back into the correct range. This trick requires care, but it can restore proper throttle response without buying a new part. To do it properly, you'll need a multimeter to monitor the TPS signal while you make adjustments. With the ignition on, check the voltage at idle. If it's not within the manufacturer's spec, usually around 0.5 volts, loosen the screws just enough to rotate the sensor until the reading falls in range. Then, tighten it back down securely. This adjustment can make a huge difference on older cars that develop hesitation or poor idle simply because the TPS drifted out of spec over time. Number 8. Throttle Body Relearn with Driving Cycles Some cars require more than a pedal reset or fuse pull for the TPS to sync correctly. Instead, the ECU relearns throttle position during a short driving cycle. This trick is simple but surprisingly effective for smoothing out throttle response after cleaning or replacing parts. Here's how. After a reset, take the car on a gentle 10 to 15 minute drive. Start with light acceleration from a stop, then cruise steadily at around 40 to 50 miles per hour for a few minutes. Follow this with a few gradual accelerations and decelerations. By running through these conditions, the ECU records fresh TPS data under real driving loads, giving you smoother and more consistent performance. Okay, you've just learned eight quick tricks to reset and fine-tune your throttle position sensor, and some of them can make your car feel brand new without spending a dime. Now let's talk about how to spot the early signs of a bad TPS before it leaves you with a dead throttle or a surprise limp mode. Symptom number one, jerky or hesitant acceleration. One of the most common signs of a bad throttle position sensor is hesitation or jerky acceleration when you press the gas. Instead of a smooth surge forward, the car may stumble, hesitate for a second, or lurch unpredictably. This happens because the TPS is sending inconsistent signals to the ECU, so the fuel and air mix isn't balanced properly. Drivers often notice this when pulling out into traffic or merging onto a highway, where clean throttle response matters most. If left unchecked, the hesitation can become worse over time, and in some cases, the ECU will even drop the car into limp mode to protect the engine. Symptom number two, unstable idle and stalling. Another classic sign of a failing throttle position sensor is an engine that can't hold a steady idle. Instead of sitting smoothly around the normal RPM range, the needle might bounce up and down, dip too low, or cause the engine to stall altogether. This usually shows up when the car is stopped at a red light or just starting up on a cold morning. Many drivers blame the fuel pump or spark plugs, but when the TPS is sending the wrong signal, the ECU struggles to keep the idle stable. Over time, those small fluctuations turn into full-on stalls, making the car unpredictable and unsafe to drive in traffic. Symptom number three, poor fuel economy. A throttle position sensor that's going bad doesn't just affect how the car drives, it also hits your wallet at the pump. When the TPS sends inaccurate readings, the ECU may inject more fuel than needed, thinking the engine is demanding more power. The result is wasted fuel, reduced efficiency, and mileage that suddenly drops, even though your driving habits haven't changed. Sometimes this shows up as frequent trips to the gas station, or noticing that a full tank isn't lasting as long as it used to. Because this issue develops develops gradually, many drivers don't connect poor fuel economy back to the TPS, but it's one of the earliest signs that the sensor isn't doing its job. Symptom number four, sudden surging. While cruising, a bad throttle position sensor can sometimes make the car surge forward even when you are holding the accelerator steady. You might be cruising
cruising smoothly on the highway when the engine suddenly revs higher for no reason, or the car feels like it is briefly accelerating on its own. This happens because the TPS is sending spikes of inaccurate data, tricking the ECU into thinking you pressed harder on the gas. The surging usually lasts just a second or two, but it can be alarming and dangerous if it happens in traffic. Many drivers mistake this for transmission issues, but in reality, a failing TPS is often the hidden cause. Symptom number five, check engine light with TPS codes. One of the clearest signs your throttle position sensor is going bad is a check engine light tied to throttle control. Modern ECUs can detect when the TPS signal is outside its normal range or doesn't match what other sensors are reporting. When that happens, it logs a fault code like P0120, P0121, P0122, P0123, or P0124, all of which point directly to throttle position problems. You might only notice the light at first, but as the issue gets worse, the car could enter limp mode, cutting power to protect the engine. Even if the car still feels drivable, ignoring a TPS-related check engine light can lead to poor performance, wasted fuel, and eventually being stuck on the side of the road. Symptom number six, trouble shifting gears and automatics. A throttle position sensor that's failing can even cause issues with shifting in automatic cars. Since the ECU relies on the TPS to know how much power you are demanding, a bad signal can confuse the transmission control module. This leads to hard shifts, delayed upshifts, or the transmission hunting for gears at the wrong time. You might notice the car revving unusually high before shifting, or jerking into gear when you press the gas lightly. Many drivers assume this is a transmission problem that requires expensive repairs, but in reality it can often be traced back to a weak or inconsistent TPS signal. Symptom number seven, engine misfires or rough performance. When a throttle position sensor is failing, the wrong signals it sends to the ECU can throw off the entire combustion process. If the ECU injects too much or too little fuel based on a faulty TPS reading, the engine may misfire, shake under load, or feel rough during normal driving. This can be especially noticeable when you try to accelerate quickly, as the engine stumbles or cuts out instead of delivering smooth power. Many drivers assume misfires come from spark plugs or ignition coils, but in reality a weak TPS can be the hidden cause. Ignoring this symptom can quickly lead to long-term engine damage from running too rich or too lean. Symptom number eight, car struggles to accelerate or enters limp mode. When a throttle position sensor gets really bad, the car may suddenly lose power or refuse to accelerate past a certain point. This is because the ECU cannot trust the faulty signals anymore, so it puts the vehicle into limp mode to protect the engine and transmission. In limp mode, acceleration is severely limited, RPMs are capped, and the car feels like it has almost no power. Drivers often mistake this for a serious engine or transmission failure, but in many cases, the root cause is simply a failing TPS. Ignoring this symptom can leave you stranded, which is why catching it early is so important. Now you know eight quick tricks to reset, test, and recalibrate your throttle position sensor, along with the major symptoms that warn you when it is failing. These simple steps can restore smooth throttle response, save you from unnecessary part replacements, and help you spot issues before they leave you stranded. Which of these tricks or symptoms stood out the most to you? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Your experience might help another driver avoid the same problem. If this video saved you money, cleared up confusion, or gave you the confidence to tackle TPS problems yourself, hit that like button, share it with a friend who is having throttle issues, and subscribe for more practical car tips that keep you driving smarter and longer.